afternoon, everybody. Just getting my drink set up, and I'll give people some time to jump on. While y'all are jumping on, if you can, hey Yardley, if y'all can, write your name in for me and let me know who's here. Hey Aunt Maria, sometimes we all have um, eclectic names and so it makes it kind of hard for me to know who's who. So if y'all can just let me know who you are as you're joining in, especially if you don't have like your actual name, that will help. Oh, Myla, awesome, you're joining too? That's so fun. Y'all, today, my little treat is Kroger's Orange Vanilla Seltzer Water, which if you have not tried this yet, you need to get it because it is so good. It's one of my favorite treats right now. Hey Marla, hey Delton. Welcome y'all. So I've got like the heavy duty container today with ice in it because it's hot and I kind of needed it. Y'all, I am so glad that y'all are joining me this afternoon. It's fun to do it on a weekend. It's a bit of a change. Yardley, these sunflowers are so pretty. While you're saying that, let me show y'all. This was my trial run. So we're going to have a lot of layers that we're working on today. We're going to have a lot of drawing on the front end and trying to separate these shapes that are all very much the same shape but different colors. Um, it's going to be fun, but I'm happy with how this turned out. So I think we are going to be happy at the end of this class. So while we're waiting for people to get settled, y'all get your drinks, get your snacks, get your treats, whatever you need, I'm gonna show you what you need and the sunflowers that we're working with. So these are our pretty sunflowers. Sadly, I had to, I had to wound this one so we could get the right angle, but it's serving a good purpose. Um, you need a disposable or cleanable surface to mix your paints on. You need your blue, yellow, and red paint and your white paint some water to wash your brushes off with, a rag or paper towel to dry your brushes off with, and then a surface of some kind. I'm using a thick watercolor paper that I really love, um, but that is all that you need. So if y'all can get that stuff, oh, and obviously you need a pencil and then you need a brush that is about the thickness of a pinky nail. Cool. All right, so I'll let y'all get those things together, get settled, get ready. Um, and yeah, just a reminder for today, guys. Today is, well, one, it's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to the mothers who are joining us. But today is all about skill building. Today is about rest. It is about just building some new skills, building some time to just grow in a new skill. Um, it is not about perfection. It is not about having something incredible at the end of it, though I hope that you do. Um, this is about peace. This is about rest. So I want you to take a quick second and take a deep breath. Just let all the other stresses fall away. Let all the other anxieties you maybe carry, just kind of set those off to the side. And for the next hour, I just want you to focus in on this beautiful flowers and just focus on the colors, focus on just the skills and how we're mixing the colors, how we're putting them on the paper and just put all of your attention on that and let everything else just fade away. So let's get started. I'm gonna get my paper in place and I'm gonna flip you around so if you have all your stuff together, I'm gonna be a little bit awkward today because um, I twisted my ankle yesterday like a fool. It's getting better, but golly, I felt like such a total gimp yesterday. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do, as per usual, one, let me get it to where I can see your comments. Um, the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to observe the flower that we're painting. So, really thick stock is the first thing that I notice with sunflowers. It's fuzzy, which I think is really cool. We'll play with that texture a little bit. They've got some random knobs and notches that are brown in color, but then they also kind of get lighter at the top of them, which I think is interesting. Really, really textured, really cool. Then we've got this interesting fold out, this base of green leaves that surrounds the flower and comes off kind of spiky. We've got these beautiful orangey yellow golden petals coming out and they're in two layers. So we see first layer, second layer. So we'll play with that. 
and then the very center, which we're not able to see too much from the angles that we're painting, but the very center is like a dark brown with a black center and it's got some fuzzies on it. So that's really cool. But lots of details, lots of fun, little things that make a sunflower look like a sunflower. We're gonna play with all of them. So the first thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab a pencil and we're gonna start with the drawing. Y'all don't mind my little rig that's making the sunflower stay in the right position. Just pretend like it's not there. Okay, oh, y'all, I almost forgot to charge my phone while we're doing this. Those of you who were with me, which class was it? Was it red clover, crimson clover? Know that I have lost classes in the past because I forgot to keep my phone plugged in. Okay, we are good to go. So we're gonna start with the drawing. And what I noticed first, if you can visualize with me, I see a cup with a little rounded top. So we're gonna draw just a nice circle right here, and then we're gonna bring it down into the cone. So I'm gonna start right over here. This nice big oval. And I'm kind of towards that top corner you can see of my paper. This is just showing me where things are gonna be. So don't be too picky about how this circle looks and if it looks like my picture or anything like that. This is what mine looks like. It's just a normal oval. Um, this is just showing us where it's going. So don't, be, don't worry too much at this stage. And then I'm gonna bring it down like a little cone or a cup. Just like that, nice and simple. Nothing too stressful at this point. And we'll go ahead and we'll pop it down so we like this little V that comes down and then a really thick stalk. Now this is definitely more of a stalk than a stem. So just bring it down nice and thick. Mine's about half an inch thick, maybe a little bit less than that, a quarter inch thick. It's about the thickness of my pointer finger. So I'm just pulling that down. You can bring yours off the page if you want to or you can kind of taper it out before the end of your page. I personally do not want to paint on my surface, so I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge. Okay, so this one over here, it is a shallower base. So this one, this one is more of a cone. Ugh, it's a sharper cone like that. This one is a wider cone like that. So we're gonna do a wide circle and then a shallower cone. Welcome, Melissa. Is Ava with you? Or how many of the girls do you have with you is a better question. I hope y'all are joining me today. We've just done some really simple stuff so far so y'all can very easily catch back up. All we've done so far is we drew this circle, we made a little cup, and we drew down the stalk. Now I'm doing another circle for this one. Not more oval than circle, y'all forgive me. And then it's a shallower cup, like that. Y'all catch up as you need to, Melissa, and I will talk you through it. So just ask me questions as you need to. Ava, I am so glad that you're here. It is good to see you. I miss you like crazy. Okay, and pull this other stock down just like the other one. So my angle's a little bit off, but we're gonna fix that later. We're not fixing it right now. Okay, so we drew those out. The next thing we're gonna draw out is we're gonna put in our little, little spots, our little notches. Those are fun. So I'm gonna come right over here and I'm just doing a little triangle, not even a full triangle, it's just kind of like a little knob. Just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. They're not too precarious or too precious on where they go. We're just gonna put them a little bit here and there. It's just a detail that exists in sunflowers, but obviously they don't show up in the same places. They just kind of show up in segments. So if yours is in a different place than mine, you'll know we're just gonna say that it's a different flower and that's okay. So just draw your little notches. I did another one right there. I'm gonna do one right here. I'm gonna do another one right here. And I'm not even, you'll notice, I'm not even filling in my shapes. I'm just drawing that kind of top spot right here that you see and it's just a random shape. Some of them are triangles, some of them are just lines, but they're just kind of notches where I suppose leaves used to be that they cut off. So I'm just gonna draw another little notch right here. 
Now, Ava and Myla and everyone else who is joining us today, just know we're going to have lots of little drawing details that we're adding in, but y'all just have to trust me. I will talk you through it. Just follow me as we go. This is not about perfection. This is about learning how to do this. Your first try may not be your favorite one, but your second one might be even better. So we're just gonna have fun today and we'll see what we get at the end of it. But just stay with me and trust me and we're gonna have fun. All right, the next thing we're gonna tackle, we're gonna mark off where our little green guys are going. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna give it a little flattened oval. Like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and imagine where this circle is. We don't see the whole circle. I'm just gonna mark where it's going to be in my mind so that I can remember it later. So it kind of starts, I assume, right here, which is just above that green spot. And then we're gonna pull it around nice and circular. So a nice little oval right here. It doesn't make sense right now yet, but y'all just trust me. Ava, just a reminder, we did this big circle, we combed it out, and then we drew the stalks down. Then we did another big circle, made a little cup, and drew the stalks down. And then I came over here to draw the green spot, and I just did a kind of rectangular circle. And then I did this circle right here, which is showing me where the brown spot's gonna be. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here now. So we're gonna do a wide kind of rectangular circle for our green base. And then I'm gonna do a little shortened on top of that, shortened oval on top, which is just gonna be where I remember that my black center is, my brownish black center is. Now, let's draw our little green shapes. So something that I noticed in my practice run, so here's my practice run. Something that I noticed is the more irregular these shapes are because they're very spiny and spiky, the more irregular they are, the more realistic it looks. When it's just straight triangles, it'll start to look less realistic. So kind of come off to this edge one and do a little spiky coming out. Like that. These are all supposed to look different and kind of quirky and weird. So it does not matter if yours look just like mine. We're just gonna make them look a little bit funky coming out to the side. So I did that one and then I did a point right here and I'm popping it down a little bit. I'll bring it all the way down just for fun. And then I'm gonna do another spiky that's a little bit shorter and I'm pulling it down. I'm doing it kind of like a teardrop. And then I'm gonna do another spiky. And you see, I'm kind of doing them like waves, which is kind of fun. But these guys, you'll see, look at this one right here. Let me see if I can go lower. They kind of come out spiky like waves. They don't act like you would expect them to. They're all shriveled, so when they shrivel, they kind of go in on themselves. So just do fill the space out with these little guys that are overlapping. And now on this side, I'm gonna tackle this one right here that I think looks really cool. And so I'm just gonna have him come down and over and fold up and then I fold down. So the way that I did that is I didn't bring it to here. I brought it up here and then I brought it down. So now I'll remember later to shade it as if it's that. And then I'm gonna do one more spiky coming out over here. All right. Let's work over to this side. Same deal. So we're gonna have one nice big spiky coming out this way, nice and dramatic. I'll have another one going right here. This is what I've done. Well, kind of crazy wavy spikies. And I'm staying in the range of the flattened rectangular oval that I drew. I'm staying in that area for the base of it 
and I'm even keeping my points kind of close to it. I'm not going too far up into this circle. I'm leaving this circle untouched. So we're not crossing over this big circle right here, the first one that we drew. Draw those. This one has some fun ones that are overlapping, so I'm gonna draw that right there and pull it down. You don't have to do that one, but you can. Another triangle. This one goes up a little bit. And then I'll do another one coming out, nice and quirky. And another one coming out behind. Good deal, y'all. Okay, so that is our green spikies. We're gonna have to remember that our first line are our green spikies. The other way that I'm gonna help us remember the different layers that we're working in and how to remember which color is which is we're gonna do two layers of the back petals, one layer of the front petals, and then one layer of the green. And we're also going to, I'm gonna round, I'll show you right here. I did pointy spikes on the green, but when I'm drawing the yellow ones, you can kind of see my pencil mark still, we're gonna do rounded tops. So that'll be our other tip and trick of which ones are petals later on is the rounded points will be our petals. So these were all spiky, but now let's go ahead and let's start with our petals. So let's start with these two right here. We've got two triangles. Remember, we're gonna round those points and they go just to the edge of what's gonna be our black circle. So I'm gonna do one right here, nice and big and then one right here, nice and big. And it's still a triangle, but I'm just rounding that top just a little bit, okay? And now, let's look over here. This one goes up past our circle. So we're gonna do this one coming up here and coming down. Same thing on this side. This one's starting at the very edge of our circle, so that'll come up over here. Just like that. And we'll do one more right there. I'll do another one right here. Y'all hanging with me? Now, if you need to erase, let's go ahead and erase the pencil lines that are inside our petals. So we just read those petals. We have all those circles inside our petals. So let's erase the lines we don't need so far. You don't have to erase it perfectly, just kind of get the bulk of them out there so that way you can remember where things are. Now, I'm going to re-emphasize the line right here that is my center dark circle. So that way I can remember that's where my dark circle is. And now one really cool thing, I'll bring this one back up, is you see a petal starts, and it's a nice little oval, and the next one starts over and just overlaps a little bit, but we have a little triangle. So they're not perfectly overlapping, they have little moments in between. So I'll start right here in the center so I can remember. I'll go to the top of my original circle, which is marking me and showing me where exactly I'm drawing to. And I'm just gonna draw this first line, oval to oval to oval. Y'all are doing great. Just try your best to keep up with me. And a reminder for everyone, if you are doing the live class right now, we are gonna go to the hour mark. I'm gonna try and keep this pace and we're gonna go right to an hour, and then at the end of the hour, if we still need to work a little bit more, to fine tune a little bit more, we will end this live call, and then I will restart a new one for us to fine tune some details and for us to work through whatever other questions you have. But I have to end at the hour mark so that we can save this for people to take afterwards. But if you are not taking the live class, if you are taking this class after the fact from my IGTV page, 
just know I am always available. So if you have any questions, just feel free to stop and pause this video as you need to, work on it a little bit and then play it again. And then you can always send me pictures of what you're working on, ask me questions. I'm happy to talk you through it and to help. So don't feel like you're alone in it if you're not in the live class. I will still help. I'm still happy to do that. And it is not a burden whatsoever. Okay, so that's our first layer on this flower. So let's add that second layer that we know is behind it. So I'm just gonna add some peeking out right here. So starting in the center, those are easy. We're just gonna add some petals peeking out from behind. Okay. And then to make it a little bit more interesting, these guys, I'm gonna have two coming out right here, and then another one coming out right here. So that kind of extends and widens our flower, makes it more open. Let's move down here. Okay, so same thing, same rules that we did the last time. This time I'm noticing we've got one, two that kind of make up one big bulk shape. So we're gonna do right over here, it goes to just under our dark circle, right? So it doesn't go to the very edge of it. So I'm gonna pull one right up here and pull it down, and then another one right next to it and pull it down. So it kind of makes an M right there. You see what I'm talking about? We'll draw this first layer and then we'll erase all these little lines. Okay, so let's do one right there and then another one coming up right there. So this one's nice and short and this one is a little bit longer. Once again, it's not going to the very edge of this circle. Here's my dark circle. It's not, it's just underneath it, okay? And then I'll do one right here it's a little bit wider, and another one coming up. Okay. And then we'll do another one coming to the edge of this, nice and wide. And I'm keeping those rounded tops so I can remember later which ones are yellow and which ones are green. So hopefully the order that we paint them in will make a lot more sense of that. Okay, go ahead if you want to. Go ahead and erase those inside lines that are going to confuse you later. It's not a petal or a leaf, you can erase the lines inside them and just keep the outlines. You don't have to erase everything, just try and get the bulk of those lines out so they don't confuse you later. Okay, so same rules of this flower that were over there. So we're going to have our ovals coming up, going to the edge of the circle. You can go a little bit over that circle if you need to, the first one that we drew. And we'll do those individual layers first. So nice kind of semi-overlapping ovals that are going to be our petals on this one. Okay. I know that was really fast. I just drew those out really quickly, but you know exactly how to draw these too. I just drew these ovals along the line, and now I'm gonna do the same thing that I did over here. I'm gonna draw that second layer because we know there are two layers to petals on sunflowers. So I'm just drawing the second layer in the back where it's just that, those peaks that are peeking out. And then on these edges, I'm gonna have one come out a little bit here. And then I might have one here. I'm bending them a little bit because I think it makes it a little bit more interesting. Let's see. I might be happy with that. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Okay. If you want to erase just a few more lines that are overlapping, make sure we just have our petal lines. You can do that now. And then we are going to be done with our pencil. At that point, you can put your pencils down. Okay, pencils down. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink so that you can finish up with what you're doing, and then we will move on to paint. Mm. Y'all, this right here is what you need. So, so good. I am obsessed with it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna mix 
is our brown color. So you know to mix brown, we put all three primary colors together. So I'm gonna put just a little bit on my palette. Whoop, that was pleasant. In case you didn't know, that was definitely my paint. <laughs> just feel like I need to say that. Okay. At this point in the classes, y'all, we're getting to the end of my my tubes of paint. I hope y'all are stretching and lasting as long as as long as you need it to. Okay. So let's mix a nice greenish brown color. So to mix that color, I'm going to start off with a little bit of each of my primaries and mix them together. The reason why I only do just a little bit is because I know that I'm not going to pick the right proportions from the start. So this allows me to say, that's too green, I'm gonna drag a little bit more red in. And so it allows me to just kind of mix the perfect color without having to pop out more paints, more paints, more paints, which can be wasteful. So I have a little bit more freedom to get the right color when I do it nice and slow and drag the colors in like this. So we're working towards a nice greenish brown. And I think I'm almost there. You don't need a lot. We're just going to use a little bit of this. So don't feel like you need to mix like a massive amount of this. Okay. This is the color I just mixed. Greenish brown. And so now we're going to paint the insides of our circles. And just be very careful along your petals. Try not to overlap with the parts where the petals are. If you need to, I've shown you this before, but you can always flatten your brush. So the way that you flatten your brush, we've got this flathead brush. Right now mine's a little bit gumpy. You can kind of see it won't get a sharp line for me. So I'll put it right here, I'll pinch, and then I pull it out. So now I've got a nice flat line. So get that paint. And then be very careful, stay inside the lines, trace these lines, and just fill it in. It doesn't need to be an even layer because we'll do, this is our first layer of color. And those of you who have painted with me before know that we will add more layers on top. Just try and get nice sharp lines and try not to go over where the petals are going to be. If you do just a little bit, that's okay, we can fix it later. I just did a little bit, so totally fine if you did too. The reason why we are careful about not going over the lines with this color is that it is a stronger color than our yellow and orange. So that means we'll have a hard time getting our yellow and orange to cover over it. So we just have to be a little more careful when we're doing these darker colors if we're going to use a weaker color later. Does anyone have any questions at this point? I am totally happy to stop and re-explain something real fast if you need it. Y'all just let me know as you have questions. That's kind of the benefit when we do it live. And for those of you who think that it's taking away from other people's time, a lot of times the questions that y'all ask me after the fact, more than one person will ask me. So if you ask now, the odds are someone else has the same question and it'll help everybody else in the long run. So don't feel like you're being selfish if you ask me to stop and explain something to you. It's really gonna help someone else out down the road. Cause I can't think of everything to explain. Okay, now what we're gonna do, something that's kind of interesting, is we're gonna paint the inside portion of our green leaves. So I'm going to start kind of at the bottom and I'm just going to paint the inside like this. So you see I'm not going to the edges of my green leaves and it's just this one layer so don't go back here. It's just one layer and I'm just going to do the inside starting at the bottom and just doing that inside bit. Emma, welcome. Okay, keeping it right in here. And then I did this fold over right here. I don't know if y'all did too, but if you did, 
I'm gonna go completely under the fold over and the whole part that's underneath, I'm gonna fill in right there. Same thing over here. Start at the base and we're just doing that inside bit. And it's just that first layer. So don't go into that second layer. Make sure you just stay in that first layer. accidentally go outside your lines a little bit just fill it out and make it look like it's on purpose that is totally fine hey Megan welcome okay once you have those petals done in we're gonna do our little notches and all I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna get this little bar right here and pull it down a little bit I'm not making a hard line I'm just kind of showing where they are and pulling them down. You don't even have to stay too close to the line that you drew originally. We're just kind of flipping those out. If you want to add another, go for it. I'll add one right here just for fun. Okay. I think I want one right here too. I don't know why. Okay, so now let's mix a green with the color that we have on here. We're going to mix a little bit of green in. So I'm going to put, drag some blue in, grab some yellow in, and mix away. So we're making kind of a true dark green. And with that brown mixed in, it's just going to make it a little bit richer. Mix some yellow in. I'll show you the color as I have it. Y'all are doing great. Keep up with me, um, especially if you're in the live class. Keep up with me, and we can always go back. This is layer one on all of these colors, right? So try and keep up with me through layer one, and then we'll go back through, and as we go, we'll add more detail and make it look pretty, and then we'll jump into that second line so that y'all can get it just right and just be really happy with, the, with it at the end. Um, but just try and hang with me if you can. If you need more, if your paint's a little thick, you can always drop a little water in there. Hey, Uncle Tim, welcome. Uncle Tim, are you going to paint with us? That would be very fun. Okay, we're going to fill in now. Flatten your brushes if you need to. So remember the way we flatten brushes. Pop this right here. Pinch it. Ah! Y'all. Y'all, what just happened? <laughs> That's not the first time it's happened. If that happened to you, just roll with it. Stick it back on. Okay, nice and flat. All right. So now I'm going to take the edges and fill in the edges of my first layer leaves. So we did the insides just then, and now we're doing the edges with this color green. So here's what I've just done. Okay. A little bit more green than that brown that we mixed at first. We're just filling it in. So just kind of get those edges. Make sure you have a nice flat brush. If your brush, like my brush, completely comes apart in your hand, just stick it back on. Kara, welcome. Yep, we're just, you see what we're doing? We're just getting those edges now. We did the in, insides, now we're doing the outsides. And we're just filling this in. And once again, this also is a first layer. So we're gonna add color as we go. But this is our way of just kind of getting that first layer. And the more layers that we add on, the more dynamic our painting's gonna be in the end. So it's totally normal for this layer to look a little awkward. Lean into it. Don't fight it. We'll make it look pretty in the next layer and the layer after that. Oops. I got a little, a little 
used to with that one that went outside my lines. So all I'm doing to kind of fix that is I'm just extending my lines to make them nice and sharp again. When we have nice sharp edges, it looks cleaner. And so that's kind of our goal with this is to get a nice sharp edge. So one way to help sure, make sure that you get that is you can put a little bit more water into your paint. And with that flattened brush, I take the edge of it just like this and I'm pushing the edge just along the line. I'm like drawing a line and then I fill in. So I draw that outer line first and get it nice and sharp. And then I go about filling it in. Okay. Now we're gonna draw a little bit, fill in with this green, our stalks. So go ahead, don't cover over your dark spots, but you can go up to them. If you need more green, you know how to mix it. Nice and simple, it's just blue and yellow. And it's totally okay if it doesn't perfectly match the green that you had before, because the more colors of green, the more colors of yellow and orange that we get in this, the more realistic it's gonna look, and the more dynamic it's gonna look. So, just mix away. a little bit darker than what I wanted but that's totally fine because like I said it's our first layer so I can always lighten the stock up in the next layers and I don't have to worry about that looking at the time I'm gonna have to keep going just so we can make our time um, but try and stick with me we've got this you've got this so we've got that base layer of green in right so now I'm gonna pull some more yellow in and make it more limey get it nice and flat and let me test something real fast before I tell you to do it. Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my white. And I'm going to put a little dot right up here. Now let's drag that in with our lime green. Nice and pretty. Oh, I love this color, it's real pretty. Ah. Oh, I cannot believe that my brush just broke on me. I think that's so funny. Okay, here is that lime green I just mixed. Nice and soft. Now what I'm gonna do is you can see we have these lines coming down our sunflower. I'm just gonna create those lines. So first thing, I'm gonna do a little bit of light on top of our dark spots. Put a little dot of it, a little line of it, so I know where they are. And now I'm going to come down here and I'm drawing nice thin lines all the way down. So as many lines as you can fit in there. It'll vary based off of your size. They don't have to be perfect. The lines on my sunflower are not perfect. Okay. So just draw on those lines on. Remember this space does not need to look perfect. So just hang with me, get the color on there, try and keep those nice sharp outer lines, but Apart from that, it really doesn't matter too much because we're going to come back to it. Okay, with this same lime green that we have, we're going to get the points of our green stems. Just the points. So, you kind of see what I've just done there. Right along here, I just did a little V along the points. not 
doing it perfect, I'm just getting that color where it's supposed to be. Later, it's gonna look really sharp. And not all of mine are perfect points either. That's totally fine. Okay. All right, how are we doing y'all? Are we keeping pace? Do you need me to slow down? We've got about 20 minutes left in class. Okay, we've got this light green. We've done our points on our leaves. It's okay if you're still doing that. Just kind of pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna try and keep it a little bit slower so that everyone can get this done. I'm mixing a little bit more yellow in with that and now a little bit more white in with that. So I'm making more like a soft yellow. It's still green, just a lighter green. Lighter yellowy green. Okay, so just went a little bit lighter. And now is the fun part. So y'all watch what I'm doing here. We will come back to it. So if you miss this stage, that is totally fine. We can come back to it, um, particularly for you who are live. So I'm gonna mix a little bit more white in with it, make it nice and light. And now I'm going to dot like that along the outer edge. So just on this one side, along the line that I already drew, I'm just doing these lines. I mean, use dots, just like that. Now I'm gonna flip it so that I can make sure I don't mix paint. I'm gonna do the same dots going down the outer line of this one. Okay, y'all, you're doing really good. I like this color, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more to these guys. So I'm gonna add a little line, just add a little bit more dimension to the very tops of my green leaves. You see, we do so many layers, it does not matter if you mess up on one of the first ones. So I'm just adding a little bit of this color. Not a lot, I'm not covering over the whole thing. I'm just adding little dots little lines of this color onto my leaves. Just a touch. Okay. Hey, Miss Wentz, welcome. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna clean off our brushes. I'm gonna take another sip of my drink so you can finish up with what you're doing. Um, but we're gonna clean off our brushes when you, whenever you're done, and then we're gonna move on to our next color. Mmm, so good. All right, y'all ready? If you said no, hang with me. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take my red and my yellow, just like that, bumping it over to the side. Can you see it? Okay. And I'm going to mix this darker color of the orange. So you can see that there's the lighter yellow at the very top, but then we have a deeper, more orangey color at the base. So right now we're just gonna fill in our base. Just like this. Just like that, not covering the whole petals, still staying within our petals that we drew, but we're just doing the base. And go ahead, actually, and take back what I just said about staying inside the petals. We need to fill in those little outer areas too, so just go ahead. We'll still be able to see our pencil markings. Go ahead and fill in this whole little base. And you'll notice, 
I'm not doing clear lines. I'm kind of wisping up. You see, I'm just kind of flicking the paint up like that. Now over here in my front lines, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. Make sure I don't go over the green. I'm just getting right here along the bottom areas of my petals. As we need to mix more, mix more. Not going all the way to the top, just getting that bottom little bit of each petal. So where it overlaps some, I'm keeping this petal right here. You'll see this petal still has some white in it. And then the back petal behind it I filled in. So same thing with these guys in the very back. I'm just going to do a little sliver of it, but I'm not going to cover it all in. Okay. And do that with the other flower as well. feel that my brush is broken. Can y'all ever feel that like with something in your hand? Like, you know when a pen has kind of come unscrewed a little bit and it's a little wobbly? That's what's happening with my paintbrush right now. What a mess. All right, and then I'm just covering in this line, just like that, nice and simple, but then I'm gonna flick up on the petals. doing? Does anybody have any questions right now? Are you painting furiously and don't have time to ask me questions? That's totally fair if it's the case. We've got another 12 minutes or so. Y'all just get that color in. Believe it or not, y'all, Yona is here today. She's just being aloof. She's in her little nook. So I'm just going back over as I wait for y'all and give you time. I'm just kind of going back over with this color over the parts that I've done one layer on. Totally not necessary. I'm just kind of giving you a little bit more time to get that first layer done. All right, I am out of yellow paint, so I'm gonna need a little bit more on my palette. So now, y'all, I was just cleaning it off again. <laughs> Someone remind me on Thursday, or just remind me at the end of this class to throw this brush away. Because goodness knows, I will stick it next to my paint palette, forget about it, and use the same one again on Thursday. Okay, I'm just going to take straight yellow from the tube now, and I'm going to finish out my petals. So just fill those in. It is totally okay if you go over the orange that you've already made. Because this yellow is a weaker color than the, than the orange that you made, and so it is not going to cover over it at all. Oh, this is so pretty. I love like a true transparent yellow over white. It's just so strong. So vibrant, I think is a better word. Okay. Myla, Ava, how are y'all doing? Are y'all hanging with me? Are you having fun? Thanks, Melissa. How's Ava doing? Okay, y'all. Just keep filling those in. And you know, this is layer one of this color. So keep filling them in. 
and then we will move on to a little bit of extra pizzazz. And remember guys, if this first round is not turning out exactly like you want, you can always make the shift in your mind to say that this is going to be your practice run and just practice each of these things that I'm teaching you how to do and then you can always readdress this painting, this flower later and do a second round and just kind of have all these skills built up. So after doing it one time, it'll be a lot easier for you to do it a second time. So just kind of take that pressure off yourself. This does not have to be your masterpiece. This can just be a painting where you learn how to draw a sunflower. And then you can take the skills that you learned today and apply them to the next time that you paint. And so on and so forth. So just take that pressure off yourself. It is no fun to paint when you have all the pressure of perfection on you. At least I don't think so. now. I am mixing an in-between color that's more of a golden yellow and less of that like bright bright yellow and then I'm taking just a little poke of white and mixing that in. So what you guys know if you've taken this class before is that white strengthens the colors to where they'll lay on top of the other colors rather than just kind of being some like a transparent layer. So it kind of forces it to the foreground. So I'm just mixing a little bit of white in. The danger with white though, y'all, is it can really dull colors. So you see how strong this yellow is? It gets weaker when we add white into it. So we have to be very careful with how much of it we add and do it. It's always better to do it in layers than to do it all in one big bulk. So I'm just gonna take, oof, I'm gonna flatten this brush out first. Okay, flattened. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this yellow with white mixed in with it. So still yellow, just have some white mixed in. Just a pinch of red, but really it's just yellow with white. Um, and I'm just going to draw some lines coming down. Just like that. So what this is doing is it's blending the two layers, making them kind of fall together and giving us the illusion of these kind of like the folds and the petals. So I can get about two lines in each petal. There we go. If you can get three, get three. Um, if you can only get one, that's fine too. But try and get somewhere between one and three of these light lines on your petal. It's just adding that dimension. Mix more color as you need to. I'm just going over it again, drawing those lines again. So does anybody have any questions at this point? We've got just a couple minutes left of the live. Don't worry y'all, if we're live, we can jump over to that second live. But if you've got a question right now, I'm happy to answer it. I'm just adding like a few extra details. So if you want, you can also mix 
a lighter yellow, even lighter than what we mixed before, a little bit more white in, and then just hit the tips right on the edges. Kind of like we did for the green leaves right here. I just mix that lighter color and I'm just pulling that down a little bit. If you're noticing that you can still see the pencil lines, that is totally fine. I think it adds to the character. The yellow mixture is just not gonna cover over um, those dark pencil lines well, but I like them. I think it adds some definition. I think it helps you to see the separation between petals. So I'm not too upset about it. I don't find it. Okay. Oh, I'm really happy with this. Okay, if you are live, we are going to switch over to that other live in just a second. If you are watching the recording, here's an opportunity for you to take a screenshot of my painting. Here is a screenshot of the flowers. Here is a screenshot of them both. If you are in the recording, thank you so much for joining us today. Remember, if you don't love this version of it, that is totally fine. Grab another piece of paper, start back over when you're fresh, and you will find that you will get it so much quicker the second time around. This is all about skill building. This is all about growth. This is all about rest and just taking away pressure and enjoying something for a few minutes. So totally fine if you don't get it perfect the first time. This is not about that. Um, yeah, feel free, if you're watching the recording, feel free to contact me at any time with questions about your paintings. I love getting to see what you're working on and I wanna help you out. If you are with the live, I'm gonna jump off right now, save the video, and then I will restart a video to be able to answer your questions and talk you through things. So stick around, we'll open something new back up. But otherwise, bye y'all, I hope you have a lovely day. And remember, post your pictures, tag me in them, and use the hashtag lovely things to come so that we can all see what you've created and we can all celebrate what you've made. So lovely things to come, tag me in it so I can see it and so that we can all see it. Bye y'all.